This is everything that comes in the package that you receive from Rita's Racks. You'll get four screws, you'll get two, four spacers, two hangers, four nuts, and if you have the 18 inch, you're going to get four hooks, Or, but if you have the 36 inch, you'll get six hooks total. And then this particular one is the 18 inch rack or the 36 inch rack. So now we're going to assemble the rack. Now I here I have an 18 inch rack. And, um, so the, to tell which the, is the back of the rack, the, the back of the rack is the one that's got a sticker on it. Now sometimes you will find some dark marks on the back of the rack. It's because it's laser cut and they burn that. So once in a while there's a burn in the back. It makes no difference. It's like the underside of a table. You're really not gonna pay any attention. The only thing you're going to pay attention to, of course, is the front when you hang it on the wall. So to hang it, I've uh, put the spacer with the hanger and the screw together already. And I just pop that in the hole in the top. This, the top is the narrowest part of the rack. And I can, now I can get a, a 3 8 inch wrench and uh, screw it on here, but we're, I'm always in a hurry. And I just want to finger tighten that. Now you can get it much tighter if you like, it's, but once you get it on, it's not going to move. It's just going to hang in the wall. So um, that's all it takes. We're going to put the other hanger on the other side. And then the two, two pieces uh, that don't have a hanger, well, of course, those go, those screws go on the back. And then I'll just continue on and put the, the other two. All right, to hang them, the racks, we need some really simple tools. We, the level, which is really important, I need a hammer, I need a pencil to mark it, and then I need two nails. So now that we have the uh, rack all uh, put together, I'm going to hang it. But what you should know is the reason that we only need two nails to hang this rack is because of the way it's made on the back with all of the, uh, I'll do it this way, with uh, the legs. And, and then they come out about an inch. And it's all based on physics. So that means when I hang this and I put my hooks on it, all the weights transfer back to the wall. And that's why it's not gonna wreck the wall or that you don't need to use anything special but two nails. And it doesn't need to go into a stud. You can do that if you want to, you can use screws, but it doesn't need it. So I have my holes in. Now I'm gonna take my two nails and I'm just going to tap them into where I had uh, marked. And here. And if you notice, I put them at an angle, a little bit of an angle, left them on a little ways because I want to hang that on the hangers. So that quickly will hung. There we go nice and straight and level, and they're on there really tight. Quickly put my hooks in. And I can start hanging up all my rulers where I want them to go. Now, we'll put that one over here. Right now. 